Hello my dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel that's Concepts of Chemistry. Before starting today's lecture, please do subscribe my channel. My dear students, today's topic for the lecture is the quantum theory of the covalent bond. In the previous lecture, we have done about the covalent bond and the octet rule. Today is the turn of quantum theory of the covalent bond. So, every system in the universe has a tendency to attain a state of minimum energy. The system associated with the minimum energy are actually more stable than the system associated with the more energy. The atoms combine with each other only if there is decrease in potential energy, that is if there is no fall in potential energy of the system, no bonding is possible. In the lectures of atomic structure, in the topic of Rutherford model, we have done the Coulomb's law and the potential energy. And there I have told you that if the potential energy is negative, it signifies the attractive forces. If potential energy is positive, it signifies the repulsive forces. So, let me write this thing for you. I am writing... Every system in the universe tends to attain the state of minimum energy, the state of minimum energy so we'll stop the system with minimum energy are actually more stable the system with minimum energy are more stable and how's that minimum energy is achieved during that process when there is a decrease in potential energy only then the minimum energy will be achieved so this minimum energy is achieved by decrease in potential energy decrease in potential energy so if there is no fall in the potential energy of the system no bonding or that process is possible we are talking about chemical bonding so we will talk about the formation of any covalent bond or the ionic bond so, I am writing, if during the formation of a chemical bond, if during formation of a covalent bond, potential energy is decreasing, only then that process of formation of chemical bond is possible process of formation of chemical bond is possible chemical bond is possible now I have already told you that if potential energy comes out to be negative, then it signifies attractive forces. Attractive forces. If potential energy comes out to be positive, then it signifies repulsive forces repulsive forces now when two atoms approach close to each other the two types of interactions come into play the attractions and the repulsions we know that I am writing 
when two atoms approach each other comma two types of forces come into play forces comes into play that is attractive forces and the other is the repulsive forces the attractive forces will be between electrons of one atom with the nucleus of its own atom and the nucleus of the other atom and the nucleus of the other atom but if you talk about the repulsive forces repulsive forces will be between electrons of combining atoms and also between the nucleus and also between the nucleus of the combining atoms now if on the whole if on the whole attractive forces the magnitude of attractive forces repel more than the repulsive forces only then the chemical bond formation is possible so i'm writing if magnitude of attractive forces is greater than the repulsive forces is greater than the repulsive forces only then the formation of chemical bond or the covalent bond is possible only then the formation of covalent bond is possible covalent bond is possible or you can say feasible now let's take an example uh, i'm taking the example of h2 molecule i'm taking an example of h2 molecule now here we are having two hydrogen atoms hydrogen and hydrogen how many valence electron does hydrogen have the one and other will also have the one now they will share these two electrons with each other to have the duplet of nearest noble gas helium and the formation of covalent bond will take place but we are talking about the quantum theory so in quantum theory what we have to consider uh, let's assume it to be the it is the nucleus of the first hydrogen and assume this to be nucleus of the another hydrogen now i am marking the electron of the first hydrogen and here i am mark marking the electron of the second orbit 
second hydrogen and we know that electron always bears a negative charge so let's talk about the attractive and the repulsive forces in total so this is the first attractive force between the positive and the negative and the positive charge is nucleus the negative charge is of electron now the next point is the attractive force will be between the electron of the first hydrogen with the nucleus of the second hydrogen this is the second attractive force <coughs> third attractive force will be the electron of the second hydrogen with the nucleus of the first hydrogen this is the third attractive force and the fourth attractive force will be the will between the electron of the second hydrogen and the nucleus of the first hydrogen so in total we got four attractive forces so we got four attractive forces now let's talk about the repulsive forces repulsive forces will be between the like charges that is between the nucleus as the nucleus is positive charge so repulsive force between the positive and the positive we got the first repulsive force and this comes out to be the second repulsive force hold on this comes out to be second repulsive force between the electrons of both the hydrogen so in total we got two repulsive forces so as you can see there are more attractive forces than the repulsive forces in case of h2 so the formation of h2 is practically possible or feasible now as the atoms are brought close to each other the attractive forces predominate and the system becomes more and more stable due to the decrease of potential energy ultimately a stage is reached where the force of attractions become equal to the force of repulsions and the system acquire the minimum energy at this stage the two hydrogen atoms are said to be bonded together to form the stable hydrogen molecule so what I, what i have said just i'm writing it now that as the two atoms as the two atoms are brought more and more closer to each other closer to each other comma attractive forces predominate repulsive forces attractive forces dominates over repulsive forces over repulsive forces and potential energy becomes more and more negative more and more negative full stop now the maximum negative value of potential energy is achieved when the attractive forces becomes equal to the repulsive forces as the two atoms brought more and more closer to each other so i'm writing the maximum negative value of potential energy is achieved when magnitude of attractive forces when magnitude of attractive forces becomes equal to the repulsive forces becomes equal to the repulsive forces
Now, after the achievement of maximum negative value of potential energy, if atoms are brought more closer to each other, then repulsive forces will come into play, then the attractive forces will decrease and repulsive forces will increase and potential energy becomes start becoming positive or increasing. So I'm writing is a very important point. After the achievement of after the achievement of maximum negative value of potential energy, comma, if the atoms are brought if the atoms are brought more closer to each other then repulsive forces will dominate then repulsive forces will dominate and potential energy starts increasing now uh, to understand these points let me make a graph for you Now, on the y-axis, I am taking potential energy. This is the origin point with a zero potential energy. And this is the distance between the two atoms. Now, I am taking an example of H2 molecule. I am taking an example of H2 molecule. Now, as we decrease the R, there is more attractive forces than the repulsive forces due to which the potential energy will decrease, 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 decrease and at this point it has attained the maximum negative value. So at this point, at the very bottom most point, at this point the attractions is equal to the repulsions. So let me label this first. As we are decreasing the R, I am writing the attractions dominates repulsions when the H2 molecule has attained the maximum negative value of the potential energy that means at this point at this point H2 molecule have formed in which attractions is equal to the repulsions so I am repeating it again when the maximum negative value of potential energy is achieved by any molecule that means that molecule has formed completely and in that molecule the attractions is equal to the repulsions now if we brought more if we brought uh, that two hydrogen atoms more closer to each other then the potential energy will start increasing and the repulsions will dominate over the attractions so at this point I am writing if we after the achievement of maximum negative value of potential energy if we brought two hydrogen atoms more closer to each other in that case repulsion in that case repulsion will dominate over attractions at this point at this point the attractions the attractions becomes zero now here the potential energy is positive only repulsive forces will be there repulsive forces will be there only so 
after the achievement of maximum negative value of potential energy after that if that two atoms are brought closer to each other the repulsive forces will dominate the attractions a stage will reach when the attractions become zero potential energy will start becoming positive and once the potential energy start becoming positive attractions becomes zero and only repulsive forces will come into play so that's all about the quantum theory of covalent bond i hope you all understood today's lecture if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture please do like subscribe and share this channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed